Thinking about buying a condominium? Think that works exactly the same way as buying a single family residence? Think again, listen up and I'll tell you the differences. Hey everybody, it's John King with John Loan King and I'm giving you a quick tidbit today about the difference between condominium loans and traditional single family home loans. So I boil it down to something really, really simple. When you qualify for a mortgage for a traditional single family home, we are qualifying you. We're looking at your cash, we're looking at your credit, you're looking at your income and making sure that you qualify. The only thing we care about on the house is its value and its condition. But when you're purchasing a condominium, it's not so simple because we also do on top of cash credit and income for you and value and condition of the property is we approve the financial health of the condominium association. There are different sets of rules based upon what loan program we're using. There's different sets of rules based upon how much down payment you're putting or whether you're going to live in the home. But the things we often look at are what percentage of the condo units are owned and occupied by the person who owns them versus the units that are rented out. Um, we look at how many of the units are delinquent on their homeowners association dues. We look at things like the budget for the homeowners association to make sure they have a significant amount of reserves so that if something comes up, they're not gonna have to double everybody's association dues. So there's a lot more we dig into when somebody's buying a condo to make sure that the condominium meets our financial health requirements as well. So that is something important to remember if you're thinking about buying a condo, we may have said yes to you on the loan, but we may say no to the condominium project. So give me a call if you have questions about condominiums or anything else and I'll be happy to help you out. Have an amazing day, bye-bye.